What's up and welcome to Fight Sleep Gym Talk. You are here with Eric Wallin and we are talking about transgender athletes and USA boxing. So come to find out if you're a transgender and you want to box for USA boxing, you now can. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I want you guys to leave a comment in the comment section whether you agree with this new policy or not. I'm a little bit late to the party. They announced it on say like January 2nd. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but I certify my gym every year with USA Boxing. I've done it for over 10 years now. I get certified as a coach, get the gym certified, get my athletes uh, certified through USA Boxing as well. I've, it's just very, it's just what I do. So this year, as we're going through the application process, coming to find out, transgender athletes are now allowed to compete in USA Boxing. There is some stipulations though. A transgender athlete has to have the reassignment surgery. So if a male wants to compete in the female division, it has to go under the knife. And then he has to have his hormone levels under like five. I don't know how the units work, how the measurements work, but if, if they're tested and they are testing under five, then they can compete. A born male can now compete as a female. Now, USA Boxing did go and say all uh, competitors under the age of 18, this doesn't apply. Whatever you were born as, you have to compete as if you're under the age of 18. But if you're over the age of 18, you can get the reassignment surgery and get your hormone levels down, then you can compete. My question to you is, do you agree with this and is this fair? Now, with that being said, every year I just recertify with USA Boxing, my gym and my coaching status, all that kind of stuff. And this year, I'm trying to decide if I want to. Like, do I want to? Let me know. Should I? Should I support USA Boxing in this? I'm having a hard time with it. I'm just going to be real with you. I'm having a hard time with it. Couple things. One, is it fair to the women? The women that have to fight someone that was born as a male. Is it fair to them? And a lot of people might say, well, USA Boxing is doing it right. They're, they're telling them to go under the knife. They're also telling them to take the hormone therapy. That's great. We're making it fair for the females, apparently, if they go under the knife and they do the hormone therapy. Apparently, that's fair for females. But the other thing is, are we promoting this? I mean, are we telling young men, like, hey, if you want to do this, go under the knife? Are we pushing them to do that? If a young man thinks he's a girl and he's like, you know what? I think I'm a girl. I'm going to act like a girl. I'm going to talk like a girl. And I'm just going to see if I can be normalized as a female. That's fine if he decides he doesn't like it, if he's uncomfortable, if it doesn't sit right with him, eventually he can just go back. But I, I don't really like how USA Boxing is promoting, hey, go under the knife and you'll be fine. And maybe they're like, if you're serious about it, then we can take you serious. I don't know what, what their thought is, but in my mind, I don't like the idea of like promoting, hey, get the operation and you'll be good. So the question is, should USA Boxing promote that. So is it safe for the females and is it okay for them to promote, hey, if you're feeling that way, just go under the knife, get the hormone therapy, you'll be fine. Um, I don't know that I agree with it. So tell me why I'm right. Tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me your opinion and uh, what would you do? Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully you hear from me soon.